Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or you another gaming fell, and today I'm going to be covering another one of my little DCS tutorials on the mission editor. So, hopefully, we can get a uh, good amount of information in here for you. Um, in the last couple of videos, I started with how to place down an air vehicle or ground vehicle and uh, have them move around. Um, we, uh, in the last video, set up an aero refueling tanker and gave it the basic task of flying in a circle. But today, we're going to start covering some more interesting topics, some stuff which might be more practical to you. So um, we're going to start by doing stuff relating to the AI. Now, um, I'll give you some basic pointers and then you'll learn for yourself because, you know, I cover a lot of the how you do things, but what you really need to know is the why. Because once you know the why, you can teach yourself. You know, it's the, uh, it's the uh, give the man a fish, he can eat for a day, teach a man to fish, and he can eat for the rest of his life. So, um, what we'll do is we'll start by placing down an aircraft, and let's pick um, something fun. Uh, what have we got? Let's give it an F-14. Why not? Because they're pretty cool. Um, and let's set their task to something like bombing or ground attack. Here we are, ground attack. Um, and we'll give them a crap load of bombs. There you are. Whole load of Mark 82s, I think. Yeah, Mark 82s. Um, and then we're going to give him the task of flying to a point and just dumping all of his bombs on one target. So um, let's start by having him bomb, I don't know, Sanaki Kolki, for example. So we'll add a waypoint, as we've done in previous videos, which is the add button on the right hand side. Uh, and we'll use the edit key to kind of drag them around and get him in set up where we'd like to. And then under the uh, the first waypoint here, or well, waypoint number one, not waypoint number zero, we'll hit add. And then uh, we'll do perform task. Now, there's a few different things here. We're going to do bombing. Um, we're going to do automatic weapon. Uh, in fact, no, let's do bombs. And let's do release quantity all, uh, attack quantity one. And um, I think that more or less covers that. Now, you see, when you place it down, you select the bombing thing. It adds this little triangle here off to the right hand side with, uh, with bombing next to it. Now, Let's just uh, rename that, shall we? We can put the name as hit that. Great, perfect. So we've enabled the task, we've got it there. Um, it's on his queue to do. And we're just going to drag this into Sanaki Kolki. And you know what? Let's pick a building. Let's pick one of these kind of huts here. Now, that will instruct this F-14 to fly over and drop every single one of those Mark 82s on that building. I think that should be fine. So um, that is one way of setting up bombing. So let's just hit fly. Uh, we can hop on in there and uh, get it going. And you can see, hopefully, um, what I've got set up for you here. So uh, he's going to start flying. We're going to speed it up a little just to get him inland um, at some point. While he's feet wet over the sea here, he will uh, get prepared for his bombing uh, mission. He will hit the waypoint and make a left hand banking turn towards Sanaki Kolki, uh, which should be any second now. Here we are, he did a very, very slight turn there. You can see he's, uh, he's pretty much on track and prepared. And he's doing his overflight now. And let's slow him down just a little bit. And there go all of our bombs, and he's just going to start circling off. And in the meantime, let's hit F6, we'll bring us into the bomb view. Uh, and let's zoom out, and let's hit F6 a couple times so we get one of the bombs further back. And here we go. He's just carpet bombed that one building. Now, that's great. That's awesome. You can see there that he's dropped a whole bunch of those bombs. Now. You can have him attack from certain altitudes. You can have him dump all of his bombs in uh, on with with no separation at all. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to show you different options for that. Now you see we've got the F-14 there set up for for ground attack. Now what we'd ideally do if we wanted to do a long long pattern of bombing is set them up for um, something else. Now we're gonna we're gonna use a different aircraft for this just because uh, I know that they'll work. So. Let's just have a look around. Where is it? Yep, uh, B-52 here. We'll give him a buttload of bombs. There you are, all pile-drived under there. Um, and let's set him to bombing. I believe bombing is a... Uh, let's have a look. 
uh, bombing is an option. Let's just go over to here. And there should be... Here we are. So if you get a bigger aircraft, you can change it from normal bombing to carpet bombing. Now that's great. That's what we want to see. Bit of carpet bombing. Now let's take out this runway, shall we? Let's uh, bring him over here. Make sure he's coming in at the right angle. There we are, down the runway. Perfect, just what we need. Now, pattern length. Um, that should probably be about right, to be honest. I mean, that's... Um, it's going to be 1640 feet, so it should bring us to about that width. But let's make it a little bit longer. Let's make it about 4,000 feet, like that. And then if we click off it and do that, and then uh, zoom out and click back on, it can be a bit finicky. It set it to uh, 4,000 feet there, perfect. So um, let's just make sure that you set to weapon bombs, release quantity all, uh, and then save and fly. So now you'll see the difference is with that F-14 he did one pass, dumped all of his bombs, and it came out in a very, very short pattern. Now what we want to do is take this B-52, we'll speed up time a little bit so that he's uh, heading right over there. He'll do his little wiggle to get himself in position. There you are. And now, let's just make sure that he's uh, going at speed. And he should, any second, start dropping bombs. Here we go. And he peels away from the target. And over a very, very long pattern, he drops a buttload of bombs. Now, this is obviously great if you want to take out a long line of stuff or if you want to do what we've done here, which is runway attack. So um, there are two different kinds of general bombing that you can use with your aircraft in DCS. So hopefully that's been really useful to you. Um, you can use that to set up different missions, get your AI aircraft to attack targets for you so that you don't have to do everything yourself. Um, but, you know, I've been Finn. Uh, I hope you have a really lovely day. Um, if you'd like to, you can like and subscribe. And um, I wish you all the very, very best. Alright, bye.